With the full map now populated and grounded, I spent the last few days scouting the upper right yard to find the best building spots. In this video, we'll be looking at my recommendations for where to build your jungle base. So to start off, what I want to do is mention that I do not recommend building on the retaining wall up here. So prior to the 1.0 update, I liked building on this retaining wall all the way along here because it was pretty safe. Now with the 1.0 update, this area is going to be patrolled by fire ants as well as ladybirds all up and down here. Sometimes you'll even see the ladybird larva. So it's really not safe to build out on this retaining wall. So the first spot we're going to look at is actually just off the retaining wall. And that's going to be down here on this little knocked over garden fence here. It looks similar to the fence that's down by the oak tree. And the great thing about this spot is going to be that it should be relatively safe. You don't normally see any enemies coming up here. And you can also build up high. So in this case, what I did was I built up here on this stump. So just to show you where we are on the map, we are right here. Just uh, north of the pagoda in the lower koi pond. And I just built a little house up here, nothing fancy, but this area has a ton of space to build. You can actually build along this entire fence, which goes all the way down and around this garden area up here. It is relatively safe down here. You're only going to have some gnats. The only bugs that are down here are going to be down by the berry bush is going to be a wolf spider that sleeps under there and patrols a little bit. You'll see some ladybird larva occasionally as well. Don't really normally see fire ants over here. The other great thing about this location is you can actually set up a sap farm, which I don't have in this world, but I do have in one of my other survival worlds. You can put sap catchers all over here. You can get berry leather. So it's going to be a good source for those resources, and it's relatively safe. The second location is going to be really close by, and this is going to be a large rock that's back here in the same part of the yard. It's going to be just north of the castle. So once we get up here, I'll show you where we are on the map. You're going to see there's a really large rock up here. Now this area, like I said, can be patrolled by ladybird larva, as you can see right here. I'm in creative, so in custom games, so they're not attacking me. There's also some fire ants that patrol through here a little bit. But honestly, if you go up on this rock, I have not personally seen anything come up on this rock. So it's a massive rock you can build on. And just to show you where we are on the map, we are over here north of the, the upper koi pond here. So you can see this rock has a very large area. I built this house up here just to show how large it is. You can build a massive base up here this is pretty much the biggest rock that i could find up here that was safe the only thing of note is going to be that there is a black ox beetle that patrols down behind here and if you go up north over here you're going to find there can be ladybirds up here along this fence at least one and then on the other side of the fence obviously there's more things over there it is also close to the berry bush like the other base a little bit further away but it's going to give you a much bigger open space to build where you're not having to like connect from fence post to fence post just make sure you don't wander too far north over on this retaining wall because there's tons of tiger mosquitoes over the pond, the upper pond area over here. So they will aggro you. You also see you have a food source over here and a drink source from this juice box. So all in all, this is a really good spot. It's also super safe. Like I said, this will be really easy for defending base, uh, the faction reactivity raids, as would the other one. The only thing that might give you trouble might be the if you get attacked by a flying raid. As we're heading to our next location, I just wanted to show you how dangerous this area is above where we just built. So where I just showed you I built. And that's going to be by the wheelbarrow here. I don't recommend building over here unless you want to be super risky because you have black ox beetles, green shield bugs. There's ladybirds that wander through here, ladybird larva. You'll also occasionally see fire ants coming all the way over here. There's also orb weavers, orb weaver juniors. This place is just super dangerous, so I would not recommend building here. And we're also going to be coming up on another key new location that they added, which is going to be the tree stump up here. I do not recommend building around here either. Because as you can see, there are ticks up here. There's wolf spiders under here. There's going to be mosquitoes flying around up top. And then you're also going to have to be dealing with the other insects that wander around the ladybird larva. The ladybirds come over around this area sometimes. And then the further north we had, there's or first, or further west we had, there's also going to be fire ants patrolling the area. The fire ants are the biggest nuisance in this upper area. You can just see one over there. Just walk by another black ox beetle. They just patrol everywhere. So I do not recommend building in the area near the wheelbarrow or the stump unless you are just wanting to be super risky. We're coming up on our third location, and that's going to be back inside of these flower pots that are behind the lawnmower. So I'll show you where we are on the map once we get up here. You also see there's a super mixer under there. Would not recommend building under the lawnmower, honestly, because if you have to defend the super mixture, your base might get destroyed, as well as there's lots of ladybirds that patrol under here. But these flower pots, you can actually build in the first flower pot as well as the second one. I only built in the second one for this video. And we are just to show you where we are, we are on the very northern side of the map up here, just north of the lawnmower. And this flower pot is going to be, this will be a very easy place to defend for faction reactivities because I don't believe the bugs can actually get in here. You could probably put a door if you're really worried about it. 
But as you can see, there's a deceptive amount of extra space in here. If you build out in this first area, you would just have to build a wall out here to defend. But if you build back inside the second pot, you can build multiple floors back here as I did. There's also a way to get out the back. So I built a couple, I built this floor up here, up here, and then I built another floor up here for even more space. So there's a ton of space to have a really cool base inside of here. And you also have the natural doors from the front and the back of the flower pot. Now do be mindful that while there's no insects right around here right now, you will have to deal with the fire ants patrolling around randomly. And so it's not as safe as the first two hour areas. However, it is definitely gonna be an easy place to defend against faction reactivity, as well as if you just wanna have a outpost up here that's fairly safe, that's near the newer resources. Our next location is gonna be the cinder blocks that are underneath the Java Matic. The Java Matic is the, basically the final defense you have to do. So I would not, while the area down here is really cool looking where the Java Matic is, and there's a lot of flat spots, would not recommend building there. Instead, I would recommend building in one of these cinder blocks. So just to show you where we are on the map, we are just to the right of the shed up here in the top left corner. So we're like dead center in the middle of the map. I just picked this specific cinder block to build in because it's as far away from the other, any bugs that are up here. And as you can see, there is room here to build probably like a five or six story, maybe even higher base. There's also many cinder blocks in here. It's gonna be pretty easy to defend because you only have to defend two sides. I built in this one specifically because there is a wolf spider that spawns back in this corner that does patrol on this area. You'll also occasionally see some fire ants. I haven't seen any ladybirds, ladybird larva, or black ox beetles, or a green shield bug or anything like that, or even any other like orb weavers or anything like that. You could theoretically build in any one of these. You could build like just a giant modular base up here. And honestly, by the time you get up to this, this area of the map anyway, you're probably gonna be able to deal with wolf spiders pretty easily. There's also some food sources around. There's gonna be aphids and weevils wandering around. You have lots of candy spawning up here. The downside is going to be it's not really near. I don't think there was anywhere close by that had like a good place to put sap catchers. And there's just not a lot of like, there's not a lot of resources up here, but it is a super large area to build in. So if you want to build a massive base, you could build it inside these cinder blocks. Our fifth base location is going to be in the jungle itself. The reason this area is referred to as the jungle is because the fire anthill is called the jungle anthill. So this is going to be up on this plateau and we are just east of the bottom right corner of the shed here. There's a lot of plateaus in this area, but this is the only one where I didn't see a lot of dangerous enemies wandering around, and it also had a fairly large area. There are lots of plants up here that you can't chop down, but this one has a pretty big open area. You can see on this side that you can come up this path, but the back sides over here are going to be raised up, so no land-based enemies are going to get up here. So if you have faction reactivity raids going on, you're not going to have to deal with it. You can get up this stick yourself, but basically half this base is going to be, or this location is going to be defended. Uh, but naturally by the terrain. The only dangerous insects that actually come near here are going to be ore weavers and ore weaver juniors. By the time you're up in this area, I don't think they're going to be that much of a problem. Fire ants occasionally patrol down and around here, but I haven't seen them coming up here. I've not seen any black ox beetles, ladybirds, or ladybird larvae up on this plateau specifically. Can't say the same for the other plateaus. The other plateaus that I checked out in this area were either smaller, didn't, or they had a lot of non- breakable plants, or they also had dangerous enemies like the black ox beetles and ladybirds wandering directly through them. So as you can see, this is a fairly large area. You could build a pretty large base here. It's also more kind of centrally located in the upper yard where the other ones were like on the fringes. This is more centrally located. It'll let you get to the lower yard much easier. So those are the best base locations in the upper right area, the backyard and grounded. Let me know if I missed your favorite spot in the comments down below. If you found this video helpful, then I know you'll want to watch this video that shows you where to find all the new accessory badges added in the 1.0 update for grounded.